Hey everybody, welcome to my fictitious laboratory where today we're going to be looking at something that I made just for y'all. We're going to be looking at male gametes, also known as sperm cells, as seen right here. Before we get started, I want to tell you guys if I get to 800 subscribers, I will post a video comparing bull semen to human semen. So as exciting as that sounds for me, I'm sure it sounds exciting for you guys. So please subscribe and if you have any comments or suggestions on what you want to see next in the videos, please leave it down below. But let's get started. Here are my would-be progeny in all of their glory. Pretty strong swimmers if I would say so myself. Um, I've added some stain to the sample to make it easier to see. These images that you're seeing now are at 400 times magnification and I'll have some 1000 times magnification here soon. One important role of sperm other than creating a zygote after fertilizing a woman's egg is that sperm actually determine the sex of the baby. Because sex is determined by the combination of chromosomes that an individual has, XX being female, and XY being male, and because each sperm and egg will have one of the chromosomes from the parent, all female eggs will have one X chromosome, whereas half of the male sperm will have an X chromosome, and the other half will have the Y chromosome. Because of this, if a sperm carrying an X chromosome fertilizes the egg, the baby will be a girl. And if it carries a Y chromosome, the baby will be a boy. This is the reason why there are sex-linked disorders in humans too. Here are some of uh, my sperm at 1,000 times magnification, and you can very easily make out the flagella and the head that's covered in the acrosome. While sperm determines sex, that may be just about the only thing that it does that's special. Other than that, the female cells do much, much more. Because the sperm only transfer genetic material, the female cell actually provide all of the cytoplasm, cellular structures, and nutrients for the cell to successfully divide and eventually become a baby. One interesting difference between male and female gametes, or sex cells, are that women are born with all of the eggs that they will ever need. They are born with approximately 1 million eggs and will enter puberty with up to 400,000. Males, on the other hand, can produce new sperm for their whole life. According to WebMD, a regular sperm count is 15 million sperm per milliliter of sample. And one thing I thought was interesting was that a healthy sperm sample should have at least 50% mobile sperm. While that doesn't seem like a high number, 50% of millions of sperm is considered adequate. And because these sperm were kind of hard to visualize when they were moving so fast, I decided to go ahead and humanely uh, stop their movement by adding some ethanol to them. And so that's going to be coming up pretty quick. But one last interesting thing that I had learned about sperm is they're actually really good dancers. Alrighty, sorry about that, but I couldn't resist. Back to some actual information. Here are the immobilized sperm after using ethanol. The head of the sperm is covered in a shell called the acrosome, which contains digestive enzymes used to deteriorate the protective covering of an egg, so that the sperm can inject its DNA into the egg. When the acrosome binds to the egg, the egg's outer covering depolarizes, preventing any further sperm from attaching.
And right here is just to show off some of my strongest gametes that have withstood uh, some alcohol as well as some rapid changes in temperature. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you guys may have learned something. And if you like these type of videos, please subscribe, please like, and please comment and give me something that you'd like to see. If it's possible, I would like to bring it to your screen. So, thank you guys.